Hi guys, how you all doing? This is the Redstone Ninja here, and today on the Command Dictionary series, we are going to be taking a very quick look at the slash achievement command. So, if we just head right on up to the um, achievement, no, command room, not the achievement room, or the silly name, just use this little elevator that I built. Right, okay, here we are. The slash achievement command goes something like this. Slash achievement. If we type this in, we're going to get an error message. Here we go. The triangle, um, the triangle brackets here are obviously the imperative arguments or argument in this case, and the square bracket is the unnecessary argument, the player. You do not need to put the player name, especially if you're on a single player world, because you're the only player. It would be a bit silly to specify a particular player but if we just oh as you can see um, naturally I've gone and given myself pretty much every achievement but um, yeah in case you didn't know Beaconator is pretty much the, the last achievement sorry for, sorry for spoiling it for you but that's that's the end game thing it's after the wither after the end after the nether all that that's at the very end so um, let's take a closer look at this, shall we? Achievement. Slash achievement, space, then if we do tab to auto-complete the next argument. Obviously give. Could, um, can't believe I forgot that one. Then, uh, as well as achievements, you've also got the statistics. Statistics are actually listed under the slash achievement command, which is very useful because you can run this in a command block, for instance, you can give the player these um, these statistics and then test for them later or something like that, I don't know for instance you can make some kind of crazy redstone thing that, or, that activates when you craft something that sounds pretty cool um, when, when you've used an item it, it something could pop up in the text bar saying oh no you finished, you broke it, oh no I don't know Lots of um, possibilities there, but obviously not going to go into them now because take too long, and that's not what this episode is about, or indeed this entire series. So you can see if I do tab, it's going to go for all the statistics, and there are a lot more statistics than achievements. So if you want to give yourself an achievement, I would suggest typing at or something like that, and then tab you can give yourself all the achievements and it's a pretty pointless command apart from like I say when you want to use it so that when you mine diamonds it activates a command block but to be honest you could just do it out of a slash test for block uh, so like test for the block where the diamond all used to be being uh, if it was some kind of adventure map maybe for survival maps maybe it's kind of useful but, um, I don't think there's really anything more to say, really. That's it. Um, if you liked the video, you know, like, like if you like, comment if you want to, and if you, and if you really do want to, subscribe. But, anything more to say? No. I think that's all there is to do with the slash achievement command. If I have missed anything out, then please do shout at me uh, in the comment section below and I'll get right on making a part 2 or something I don't know but until then if that ever does happen because I'm pretty sure I covered everything but until then this has been the Redstone Ninja and my work is done here